Megan, do you want to comment a little bit about a typical three or four year old patient that comes for bowel management, what that week looks like for them? What other, other than getting the x-rays, are there other programs involved or par parts of the bowel management program? So during that week, we also work with a physical therapy team and a behavioral um, adherence team. Uh, they, uh, so our physical therapy team will help with uh, belly massages or coordinating, relaxing um, the pelvic floor muscles um, that we can, we find helps a lot in our bowel management patients to make sure uh, they're using the right muscles to help evacuate. Um, and you know, when you bring a three or four year old for an enema bowel management, or even when you're eight and nine and realizing you're soiling and your peers are starting to notice that you're soiling, um, that can be a big factor in a child's life. So we work with our behavioral team who meet and come up with coping strategies and how to um, work on adherence throughout the week and when you go home of how to make enema time easier or when you go back to school, um, how to discuss this with your peers um, and just help with quality of life in that aspect of the emotional aspect of a child. I think that's a, you know, I think a bowel management program is important for many patients and I think a collaborative model like you just described is important because it's more than just doing an enema or giving a couple of squares of X-lax and making it work. I think there's a lot to it. And I think one of the things I've learned with time is, you know, the, and having children is how much dedication it takes to do that type of program. And, and we know that and try to work with you as best we can um, to try to get the most success that we want. In the end, it's really what the patient and the families want that we have to try to meet those goals and try to use the treatment options we have to try to get the child to the best place that they want to be. Because like I said at the beginning, I think this is really all about quality of life and trying to get the child to a place where they are comfortable, they're thriving and succeeding in school and athletics in life. And so I think that's um, an important aspect. 